Well, hello, James Bond collectors. This one is for you guys because some of you may remember this in the mid to late 90s. Um, let's say around about 1997. That's when I bought this anyway. It was this James Bond CD-ROM. It wasn't a game. It was, um, it was known as a dossier, the, uh, the James Bond dossier. And this is something that I kind of discovered at the Leeds Armouries uh, James Bond exhibition in the summer of 97 you could go on these PCs and it had this really cool thing I mean nowadays um, a simple website would be able to do a lot more um, than what this did but back in the day this was amazing when you were a Bond fan you could really kind of get immersed in this it had so many uh, clips and montages um, and trivia and photographs and sound clips. It was really nice. It was kind of a, a, a multimedia feast of James Bond legacy, I guess, up till that point. Now, it only went up to GoldenEye. It came out in 1997, so it was just a little bit before Tomorrow Never Dies came out. And uh, let's have a look at the back of the thing as well. Unfortunately, I can't actually show you this running, which would have been a really nice inclusion on this video. So... I can only really show you the actual box and the discs and, and that. Uh, you can use your imagination what was on it. There is, um, I think if you type in Bond Dossier, you can find some videos of some of the old uh, video sequences that this thing had. But, I mean, basically uh, it was just uh, a lot of photographs and video clips. But I haven't seen many people talking about this on YouTube, so I thought it'd be an interesting uh, video to contribute anyway just by showing this thing. So you can kind of see there what was on there. Now this is all the, uh, it kind of brags about how it's got all this, this kind of thing. Like I say, nowadays, by today's standards, you get out of this just by going on a, any single website could, uh, could host all this by uh, embedding YouTube videos, that kind of thing. But like I say, back in the day, this was 1997, so it was quite, uh, quite, quite different as well. I mean, I wasn't really into computer games, never have been massively, but uh, this... Um, like I say for a, a James Bond film fan, really quite something else. So it came in this two disc set anyway, and you can kind of see the same same kind of general uh, information on the back here that was on the back of the actual cardboard box. You can see some kind of shots on there as well. So let's 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 close on there. I should make might make it a bit easier. You can kind of see the the layout that this thing uh, had. It's kind of hard to to zoom in there. Yeah, you can see the kind of thing that it looked like anyway when you got the thing open. Um, the dossiers and text information. You could go into the thing by category. You could look at gadgets throughout all the films. You could look at all the films and look at the cast. Um, so let's have a look at actual discs as well and the uh, some of the other instructions that you got with this thing. So... Uh, Two disc set, like I say, you got this booklet, which I will have a quick look at in a moment. And uh, on the other side, you got this disc as well, and that was just kind of a, a middle part there. You might have seen a, a bit of paper in there. That was the uh, the receipt from when I bought this back in uh, 1997. Uh, I seem to remember skiving off college one day and rushing over to Leeds to buy this thing, kind of on a whim. Uh, it cost me £30 there, bloody hell. Virgin Megastore, that goes back. And that was the, obviously the company that made the thing. This was the box, uh, kind of fits in there. Like that. But let's have a look anyway. The, so these are discs, let's just have a quick look there. Uh, disc 1 and 2 is a 12 certificate, because obviously it featured some video clips from GoldenEye, which was the only film at the time. Oh, actually no, that License to Kill 15 certificate. And it did feature some, some things. So sorry, let's have a quick look at the booklet. Oops. Let's just get down so I can uh, have a closer look. So you can kind of see some of the technical requirements there as well. If you want to pause this and have a proper read of this thing, I'll kind of show you each page for a few seconds just so you can get a good look um, at the thing as well. So you can kind of see how how it worked technically, um, kind of system requirements, that kind of thing. And one thing I do remember about this, this uh, as well that was really nice, it had an exclusive video with... Uh, Desmond Llewellyn, who, as we all know, played Q. That was the main screen, by the way, when, when you went on the thing. So you kind of see how it works, category-wise. But yeah, I had a video that was done with uh, Desmond Llewellyn, who played Q, and he kind of comes on there and starts talking about the dossier and how it works and all the different uh, 
features that it had and he was introducing it to you in character as Q. I don't know if that video is somewhere online, but again, I can't show you because I don't have a Windows 95 uh, compatible computer. Um, but that video might be somewhere on YouTube, possibly, I don't know. I mean, there are probably ways to get this computer running. I'm told by one of my technical experts, uh, one of my friends, that there are ways of making an old system like this run on a modern computer. But I think, to be honest, it'd still struggle because I think the video clips would be relying on using an old version of whether it was Windows Media Player or whatever. That seems to have faded there on the picture for some reason. I don't know where that's all, all happened like that. But uh, yeah, it's a real shame. Like I say, if, uh, if I had an old computer, I'd really love to get this thing up and running just for the nostalgia factor, really. Um, like I say, you can see exactly how, how the thing worked. That was the main screen. You'd kind of hover the mouse over any of these. So obviously you'd have James Bond himself, the women, the allies, the villains, the gadgets. Uh, there was a trivia quiz, which I think was that there. Um... So there are all kinds of ways of kind of getting through this thing. I think that sometimes as well you could uh, click on the Q icon as well and it'd appear and give you various different messages. And I think the more, from memory, the more times you clicked on the Q um, icon for help, it'd get more and more pissed off with you each time until I think eventually the thing would blow up and Q was there going, oh dear, or something. But uh, not a really nice, uh, really nice set anyway. Like I say, I've kind of shown you pretty much the thing physically anyway, so... A uh, bit of a trip down memory lane there. Again, sorry I can't show you the actual thing up and running. Uh, maybe if any of you guys out there have got a computer that you can actually run this on, if you can do a video better than this, please do, and then let me know, because I'd love to uh, to see a demonstration of this thing working. Okay, brilliant. Well, thank you very much for watching. Uh, there are a few other James Bond-related videos. Some of it's uh, kind of uh, nostalgic stuff. If you want to go back on Brand X Reviews on the uh, video archive on YouTube, we have plenty of other James Bond related videos and there will be plenty more to come. So uh, check back, subscribe, click like or click dislike if you thought the video was shit. And uh, I'll leave it there. Thank you very much for watching.